between both of my YouTube channels, I do two live streams a week, sometimes more than that. So what I like to do is create short clips for social media to promote upcoming streams and then also highlight things that happened in previous episodes just to give people a taste of what it's like in the shows. If I can get the clip to less than a minute, then I actually just format that clip as a square. And if you wanna learn how I do that, you can check out this video here. If the clip ends up being longer than a minute, then I format it to a vertical video so that I can post it as an IGTV. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I create my IGTV clips of my live streams in vertical format. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I do is I drag the video file of the live stream into Final Cut. And then, the, as you can see, the whole video file is like an hour and 20 minutes long. So it's super long. And I just drag it into a normal project, just like as if we were making a YouTube video, horizontal, you know, the regular deal, nothing different. And then I just cut that live stream into the clips that I wanna create. Typically for live streams, if they're an hour long, I can create between like three to five, three to six different clips from that single live stream. And I've already done that in advance. So here are the clips that I've created. One is a minute 50. This one also is a minute 50. This one's a minute 49. This one's a minute eight. This one is 56 seconds. So it's actually, because it's less than a minute, I'm actually gonna format that one as a square. And then this one is a minute 19. So for vertical video, as you can see here, I have two events, one for squares and then one for vertical. So today I'm gonna to show you the vertical. I already have a template, but I'm gonna walk you through from scratch. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit file, create a new project. I'm gonna name this tester. And for the format, you can click and select vertical and it will show you 720 by 1280, 1080 by 1920. I like to do this one and then I don't really change anything else. And then I hit okay. So now you can see the canvas is formatted into the vertical format. And what's cool is that when you go back to the project that has eclipse in it, I'll just take this first one right here, copy it, jump back into the other project and then put that into the timeline here. It will just automatically format and resize so that it fits the canvas and you can see it just goes into the middle of the canvas and I don't edit the video beyond that uh, because it fits perfectly. Now, if you are shooting vertical video, say on your phone or something like that, you might have to do some rota rotating or some kind of you know formatting to make it fit, but it should be relatively simple. So uh, the next step is that, as you can see here, these are black or they're blank actually. So I like to add a background um, I just have a picture of my studio here. So I drag that on the bottom right here. Just make it the same length as the clip. And uh, let's see, because it's a background, I don't really care that, you know, you can like see the whole thing uh, because it's just really to add dimension in the back. So um, I have my skateboard showing and then I just play with the opacity so that it, it really is just a background. Now you can use whatever picture you want. You can, you know, jump in here and jump into the uh, generators and use like a background color or something like that up to you. So that's the first step. Second step or the next step is very, very, very important. I can't emphasize this enough because this is a video that's going on social media. The text, the header text is super important because that helps people decide whether to stop scrolling and watch your video, right? So uh, we are going to need some title text. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this title right here. And for now, we're just gonna put something, uh, the most important uh, thing you need to know or something like that, I don't know. Uh, it's just an example. I also format this to the left or align it to the left actually, because Instagram puts a camera thing right here, a camera icon to show people that it is a video. So it was like cutting off this. So um, yeah, that's just to show you an example. I'm gonna change the font. Boom. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Bam. Something like that, okay? So this is the thing that when people are scrolling, they, you know, this is the thing that's gonna grab their attention. The thing that you might wanna double check when you are creating your own vertical video is that this header text shows in the preview grid. What do I mean by that? 
So let me open up Instagram and show you. Okay, bam. So here's Instagram and uh, here's one of these videos that I made. So here's what I mean by fitting the grid where it says, do you need a catchy personality for YouTube? You can actually see that in the square and then you could also see the, uh, the caption underneath. So that's the only thing that you wanna double check. So when you're making your template, double check that in Final Cut Pro, like, you know, when you upload it, you can see that it doesn't cut off. That's the only thing that you kind of need to check. Now, the next step is to add the captions. This is tedious, but this is the way that I like to do it because I don't know, it's just the way that I like to do it. You could totally submit for captions or do them automatically or what have you. I actually do it manually because I like formatting it and adding emojis and stuff like that. And you know, I really like typing. I have a mechanical keyboard. So I just, I just straight up like type it myself. So it's gonna look something like this. Like, let me just format it really quickly. Boom. And it continues here, blah, and then something like that, right? So I actually just type like this. While growing from zero to 100K in six months. It then once I finish that part, I break that text box and I just keep typing. So then I'll edit this uh, and break it up here, then continue. So it ends up looking like this, as you can see. All right here, these are all the captions that I just manually put in. Like I said, that's tedious. Not everyone wants to do it that way. That's the way that I do it. Now the last part of this whole thing is the progress bar. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. So see this blue bar that goes across the length of the clip. I just think that's cool. So I add a progress bar and let me show you how I do that. So I'm gonna jump into the tester and we're gonna jump into the generator and grab a custom bar. And I'll make that the length of the clip. Uh, and let me change the color of this to be purple. Have a thing for purple. Uh, now we need to format this to be the bar, right? So we're gonna go ahead and crop the bottom. We're gonna crop the top, something like this. That's like real big, whoop, whoop, like that. How's that? Yeah. Okay, now we have to do keyframes. So put your playhead at the beginning of this clip and then we are going to hit the keyframe on crop right and then go to the towards the end and then we're going to add another keyframe on the crop right like this and then we're going to hit the previous and then you're going to take this slider bar and just go all the way until it gets to the beginning which is like right there perfect now because your keyframe this one goes all the way to the end and it has the uh, bar all the way at the end. When you play it, ooh, it'll just automatically show the progress right there. So obviously you wanna make these go all the way to the end and that's pretty much it. So to show you one that I've actually created, here you go. Um, I also like to have a little call to action here, but then other than that, that's pretty much how I make my vertical videos. Now, once you are done, you're gonna want to export that and it should automatically export as a vertical video. So then just export it, then transfer it to your phone. And then when you're in Instagram, you're gonna upload it as an IGTV. And then obviously if you want, you can have it preview actually in your Instagram feed. Now that you know how to format vertical videos, I'll show you how to format square videos in this tutorial next. Go check it out and I'll see you there. Bye.